Welcome to Video Game Weekly. This is a new series, by the way, that is going to be talking about what kind of stuff was announced during video gaming during the last week. And I know I'm a huge Nintendo nerd, but video games are video games, and I am going to be branching off into some other consoles, companies, you know, all that. So this will be covering everything that was announced between the um, 5th of September and um, 10 of 40 on, um, Saturday, the, uh, 12th, so, yeah, we did get some news just about an hour ago that barely made it into this, so, that's pretty pog, so, I guess we should get on with it, so first, Nintendo has, um, kept up the trend of, well, just kind of shadow dropping stuff on a random day this week while I was in school yet again they announced that they were going to make a new Hyrule Warriors game and it was going to be a prequel to Breath of the Wild now in Breath of the Wild they make a lot of references to what happened like a 100 years ago and stuff like that and yeah so we're now getting on a official game that's going to tell us what actually happened 100 years ago and we don't have to go off you know vague um descriptions of what happened 100 years ago we now get an actual thing and um people seem to be excited to play as your bow so i have no clue why they're so excited about that no clue but yeah that's pretty hype um hyrule warriors games basically are not really my cup of tea uh, I played the original Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U when it first came out, and um, it was alright. It was a hack and slash. I enjoyed it, but in my humble opinion, I don't think it's worth $60 for the hack and slash. Those are just not my type of game. Some people love those types of games. They're just not for me, but I can see why people want this. This, is a, this likely will um, reveal a lot of plot for Breath of the Wild. And with Breath of the Wild 2 around the corner at some point, this definitely is a good um, time to bide them over, or whatever it's called. Also, there's more news on this on the 26th, which is uh, 14 days from now? Yeah, two weeks from now. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we'll see what happens when we get there, but yeah. Also, Breath of the Wild 2... I think it was mentioned briefly at the start, said that there would need there would need to be more time for the game to be perfected and all that greatness. So um, that basically just deconfirms 2020 completely. Nobody thought it was coming out in 2020, but it just got deconfirmed basically. I don't know what they're going to do with Breath of the Wild 2, whether it's coming out next year or 2022. But hey, if it's a good game, I think it'll be worth the wait, just like Breath of the Wild 1 was. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Also, it comes out sometime in November. So yeah, I don't think that's going to be their holiday title, if I'm going to be honest. But yeah. So now we're going to go over to Microsoft and their new console, which is coming out this holiday, called the Xbox Series X. You've likely heard of it. And if you've been sticking around video games for the last couple months, you'll know that Xbox and um, Sony, who makes the PlayStation, um, has just been really silent. Like, they haven't really said much about their consoles, they haven't really done much about them. So a lot, and we know, like, a couple launch titles, but that's basically it. And that's definitely not, um, good, because we didn't, we don't even know their price tags right now. So, um... But, some leakers got um, info on how much the Xbox would cost and how it would look earlier this week. And it, it said that it was $300. Xbox immediately backed up the statement about, I think, a day later, a couple hours later, whatever it was. Officially saying, yeah, it's $300. Um, which is pretty fucking pog, honestly. That's the same amount as a Nintendo Switch. And if it even rivals um, PS5 in terms of, like, power, 
that's a pretty good deal. It doesn't look like the at least launch games on it yet are as good as Sony's PlayStation's. I keep messing that up. Um, that's a pretty good deal, honestly. If the um, PS5 is not three hundred dollars, which I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't, but whatever. Yeah, and that's pretty looking good. And also, apparently, about two months ago, in a kind of small interview, it appears they actually hid the um, Xbox Series X in a bookshelf, which is kind of insane. Because, like, it blends, I looked at the picture, it blends in so perfectly. Like, you actually have to know, like, what the thing will look like for it to, um, be, um, noticeable. And it's insane that it can just go on a bookshelf and look pretty inconspicuous to the, um, you know, if you just glance over at the background, you know. So that's pretty cool. Feel bad for Sakurai though, because uh, now Nintendo fans are gonna be like, "Yo, you know, there, there was per like the purple and yellow chairs in the background, thinking it was like Waluigi or something, and it was not Waluigi. It was just background." And um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about that. Um, they say they're coming out with more news soon, but they better hope because uh, we got news about the PS5 just about an hour ago. We got news that PS5 or Sony, is having a new presentation on it, September 16th, which is, um, Wednesday, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but, yeah, they're making news about it, and could we get a price tag on this, because remember, Sony has announced, I think, like, launch titles, but they haven't really announced, um, how much it's gonna be. Is it going to be, you know, it's going to be 300 Is it going to be 400 Could it be 500 potentially? You know, and they got a lot of pressure now because Xbox has basically gone budget and said, okay, here's 300 Um, Our console's 300 And if PS5 can't, like, do something crazier, they're going to have to, um, they're going to have to, do something here because if it costs like four hundred dollars, it's that's a hundred more dollars, and a lot of people. If Xbox Series X provides like the same amount of power, Xbox is what you would take. And also, there's the Nintendo Switch, but the Nintendo Switch just seems to be in a league of its own at this point. You can't really compare it to the other consoles in terms of power, like at all. So, um. Yeah, it's gonna be at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and yeah. Also, the PS5 Gold got announced, and it's like seven thousand dollars, I think. I don't remember. Uh, there probably will be a picture on the screen of it, but it, man, I don't feel like paying over ten thousand dollars or whatever it is to get a gold version of a PS5. That might look cool, but then someone's going to steal it because it's obviously, like, that much money. So, in other news, we have Scott Pilgrim, which is a beat-em-up game, coming back, which was kind of unexpected. And, um, I never played it, I never really heard of it, but I heard that it was coming back, because I knew... Dang, like, this game has been gone for a while, like, it's, unless you, like, get an emulator or, like, ROM hack or whatever, or ROM of the game, you can't play it unless you own the copy before 2014. Well, now it's back. It's, um, been six years, which is pretty insane, but now we can, um, get our hands up on the beating, hands up, we can get our hands on the beating, beat up game, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm not a really huge fan of those games, but a lot of people loved this game and wanted to see it back, so good for you guys. <laughs> and then I guess we'll finally end it off with a Mario 3D All-Stars comes out in a week, which is kind of insane. Um, comes out on the 18th, and um, 
the graphics look a little better. They don't look like phenomenally better, but like they're better. And yeah, it's still insane that it <laughs> that Mario 3D All Stars was announced like a week ago, <laughs> because like you would expect this to be like a huge hype thing, and you know this would be hyped up for like a couple months, but it wasn't, and it's limited run until March 31st. So. Yeah, hopefully you can get your hands on a copy. Hopefully uh, you get some money um, for it. I still think it's kind of weird that it's only going to the 31st, but they could pull another um, uh, Mario All-Stars on the Wii and just have it limited running in a year or two later they come out with it again and say, hey, you know, it's cheaper now. What I would like for them to do is they come out later, comes out next Let's say they get rid of it, and then it comes out like two, one or two years down the line, and say, "Hey, if you bought the original version of Super Mario 3D All Stars, you can get Mario Galaxy 2 for free. If you didn't, well, you have to pay an additional 20 for it, and the actual game with just like 64 Sunshine and Galaxy 1 is 40. Then if you have to get Galaxy 2, it's 60. So I think that would be decent, but." Yeah, that's basically my whole spiel. And there was not a ton of stuff that happened this week. I mean, there was the pretty big announcement of Hyrule Warriors and Xbox Series X. But other than that, there wasn't a ton that happened this week. Um, Among Us is fun. I played last night. Among Us is fun. I just like to leave that random footnote in there. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for this week. I will be back next week with, um, hopefully more news. But, um, yeah. I hope you all have a great day. Remember, if you did like this little bit of a spiel here and you like this series, make sure to like it, leave a comment. Um, if I missed anything, because I definitely could have missed something, because, you know, I keep up mostly with Nintendo, but... I'm trying to also incorporate, you know, Xbox and PlayStation into it. And if you really enjoyed and you think you'll enjoy the content, and you want me in your soapbox every day, you can hit the subscribe button. We can make it to 100 eventually, boys. We can make it. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.